We are joined by head coach Speedy Claxton, Tyler Thomas, and Silas Sunday. Coach, your opening thoughts on tonight's uh Yeah, monster win for us. Um, you know, it was a must win game on our home club. We had to have it. And to these kids credit, they went out and they won it. They they earned this one. Um extremely proud of the way we played on the defensive end. Um, you know, I would we, we wanted to have at least twenty five deflections. Um in this game and we had we ended up having forty. So really proud of the way this team played on the defensive end and that's what won us the game. Any comment on the two people sitting sitting on each side of you? Oh, I mean Tyler, you know, he he's he's player of the year in my mind. He he's been tremendous, um, you know, when we started conference play. Had a little hiccup there, but he got it back uh, and he's coming up. Um Silas, he's just getting better by each game, man. He came off the bench and gave us some really, really good minutes. Along with Yako, our five men did a really good job on um Arguably the best big in the, in the in the conference. Speedy, after how the game last week in Philly went, where they had to come back in the second half, how important was it for you guys to take control of that late run and how much? Yeah, extremely important. Um, you know, we we had a really good team on our home court, so we wanted to come in and stand on business. Um, we let one slip away against them last game, and we just wanted to come out here and um, play a good forty full forty minutes of Hofstra basketball. Silas, from the beginning of the year to now, now you're playing big time minutes and games against Drexel after hardly playing. Talk about your growth over the course of the season and what you attribute that to. Oh uh, man, it's just staying the course, just trying to get better every day and trying to improve every day. There's always something to improve on. Silas, you uh, <clears throat> relish that kind of matchup against uh, Mavericks, Harold and the CAA and uh, Mari Williams. Do you relish that matchup defensively? Mm -hmm. Wait. So like, do 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 you do you look forward to that? Do you get oh, yeah, yeah, up yeah. for that? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Always want to play the best because you can learn from the best. So. Speedy when Silas comes in and almost it's the same. Not only is he giving you minutes, but it seems like every play he's making an impact play. Um, do you feel like that's something that just energizes you guys and gives you something extra in the game that you know? Just really yeah, he's, I mean, yeah, Silas is he's he's a he's a big boy. Um, so you know he he, he takes up a lot of space. Um, you know, so when. He, he rolls into the basket. You have to account for him. And when he comes in the game, um, we kind of do some different things on the defensive end um, because he's a really good rim protector. Which I know you mentioned it briefly in your intro, but just from Silas and Jocko tonight, you got 16 points combined. Yeah, that's six big. Seven rebounds, four block shots. Just tell us a little bit about what you may have their forms. Yeah, when, we, right, when, 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 we, get, when well. we get that kind of point production from our five, man, um, that cru that's crucial because, you know, we're going to – we we're, we're, we're gonna rely on our guards. Um, well, you get that kind of point production um, from the bigs. It just helps. Um, you know, sixteen and seven from that position is is big for us. Speedy, what have you seen? So I was asked about it before. What have you seen the last four or six weeks on a day to day basis that's gotten him from where he was in December to where he is now for you guys? Um, I think it's, this is overall confidence. I think the more he plays, the more confidence he gets himself um and you know he's he, he he's been vital um for us you know these last couple of games you know between Yako picking on foul trouble and um us wanting to play a different <clears throat> different way um he's been valuable and I'm proud of him you said uh after the win on Saturday this would be payback uh, you had some trouble closing some games including against Rex last Thursday but now these last two games especially today with the 16-0 run you guys feel like you're getting better to close those games yeah I mean you know it's it's hard to win games. It's hard to win games. But, you know, when you have one of the, the, the top teams in the league on your home court, um, you want to handle business. And just wait. I'm just proud of the way we did that um, tonight. Coach, obviously a big focus this whole season was playing 40 minutes. Last week, had the lead at halftime, and then in the second half had that lull. Against Monmouth, had the lead in the second half, had that lull. Started to happen. You guys are able to break through in the second half. What, what's been the difference? Yeah, um, just knowing that that has happened to us in the past, <laughs> we don't want that to continue to happen. Um, but in those games, you know, um, we played a, a, a good, tough uh, 20 minutes. And we, we got to get past that and, you know, not be satisfied with being up at half and play a, a total 40-minute game. And I think the last couple of games, um, well, not the last couple, but, you know, against Northeastern, and tonight we played for 40 minutes. Speedy and Tyler so in this game, you know, most of the game is pretty much a rock fight. And then, you know, down the stretch, you guys really just take off. Is there anything um, that you guys saw each, each of your own perspective that differently that really led to the, the one you guys want to close out? We just played 
we just played defense. Yeah, it was it was on the defensive end because you know we we we, we kind of um, got in a rut offensively and we missed a couple of shots and we relied heavily on our defense to carry us and I think that's what kind of put us over the hump. Coach, you mentioned the deflections being a point of emphasis today. Talk about the adjustments that you made from the second half on last Thursday to the second half today. Yeah, um, you know they they made some some tough shots in that second half um, down there in Philly. Um, so we just wanted to come out and have high active hands because we know they got to load down down low. So they're going to be looking to post feet and they got shooters on the weak side. So we wanted to have high hands and just discourage the pass and try to get deflections, throw up their timing. Tyler, um, just talking about your leadership uh, down the stretch here as you picked up your game these last several games as you guys are trying to position yourself for a top four seed and you being a leader. Um, but ask the question again. <laughs> so, uh, just, uh, in, just in, as you guys are trying to position yourselves here as, as for highest seed possible to get top four seed, you picked up your game over this time as you guys have, have, have moved into that that position now. I think it's third uh, where you are right now. Um, just talk about your leadership uh, in that in, in leading the team to get that position in, in for the seed for. Well, I can only speak for myself, but I think I've been more vocal of uh, taking guys. Uh, <laughs> A little bit more vocal. Okay, I'll give you that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. See? But, no, the leadership, I just think, comes on the defensive end, and I'm trying my hardest to, on every play. Um, and now I think it's carrying over to some wins, and we're a much better defensive team when I guard the ball and be in my position. Now. Yes, we are. <laughs> I totally agree. Speedy, I know it sounds cliche, but how important is it to – just go one game at a time and focus on Saturday night. We've been day. saying we've been saying that for weeks now. Um, you know, we're kind of um, we kind of control our own destiny at this point. So we want, like, but we, like you said, um, we want to take it one game at a time. Uh, we're not look, we're not overlooking anyone at this point. Thank you, guys. Uh,